All right, so wiring is pretty much done. I have a couple wires left to just feed under the car that can be done another day. Um, I can start building the back out now. Um, as you can see, it just goes up here, tucks behind that box up here, and just all the way along. Got our negative bus bar there. That'll be up in a lot closer to the wall, like that or something. And then the positive bus bar, which is just clearance lights I figured out, and a brake light, um, runs all the way along there. And yeah, so we should be good here. Um, I will probably have to pull that corner out of touch, but we'll face it when we get to it. I also got this cut out. So the goal is the bed's gonna end where that cut is. That's the height of the countertops, and then the bed will be on top of that. Uh, and then I have to completely remove this side, which I might do this afternoon. We'll see how much time we have. Um, this is day four, so it's getting there. I started pulling some of the insulation that I'm gonna reuse on the doors, and we'll go from there. I can finish the wiring down in that corner, then I can start doing all of these lights along the top. Um, some of them I'm taking out and just putting blanks over other ones I'm gonna do RGB and exterior lights so yeah okay so this is the last piece of the interior coming out now um, I went to Lowe's bought some aluminum sheets just to put over the lights so I'm gonna paint them the same color as the truck and then put over the lights we're not gonna use uh, once I get this out I need to chop this box out this one's gonna go down to the same height as that one um, my batteries are probably going to go along the top there. Um, we'll have to figure that out. Alright guys, so got this box out the other day, showed you that. Um, today's not really a full day, I've just got a couple hours to mess around. This one I only cut down halfway, this one I'm going to completely remove down to essentially this level where the other box is. Um, all I'm going to do is cut these pinch welds the whole way down. Seems like it's just silicon from there. Um, along here is going to be tough. I might have to trim it back uh, a little bit from the edge and then come back and cut all those uh, seam welds as well. Um, that side's probably going to be the hardest part. Um, I'm probably just going to have to cut it down on the inside of the box and then uh, see how it looks from there. I'm not really sure how I'm going to tackle that yet. Um, the welder I was going to use isn't available, so I'm just going to have to trim these out with composite boards and wood. Um, but the goal is to get this out. All the disassembly is done at that point. All I have to do is finish tucking these wires under the car, uh, which I can do basically whenever. Okay, so I went to the store, bought some wood. Going to start doing all the trims for the wall panels to go up. Um, I also have started cutting down a test piece for replacing the lights so um, once I have that if I know it works I'll put the measurements in the video and you guys can either make them yourself or I might start selling them I don't know who knows okay just wanted to do a bit of a rundown on what I did here so I got this one out as far as I'm gonna go with it anyway um, basically the outside was quite easy. The outside is these welds here. All I did was took a grinder to each point and then once they broke I just used a little pry bar to, to cut off all this silicon. You can run a knife down there that helps as well. The top actually wasn't even connected by anything other than silicon. So all I did was just same deal pry bar and a knife along the top here. You can see how thick it was. Got all of that out. Now this side was a little bit tougher. Um, this was welded in on the inside of the box. So when the doors open, it runs down that edge there. So I had to get in there with a, with a grinder and just cut off these little tabs as well. Um, same deal, every eight inches, there's a tab. And then once you make your cut along the bottom, the whole way around, um, I chose the same height as this box. I'm gonna put a false floor there and probably actually stack batteries in there. Um, that or I'll put an inverter or a spare water tank or something, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, the hardest part was definitely just cutting along this edge here. 
Uh, once I got that though, it, it just a little bit of wiggling and it came right out. Had this shelf down the center vertical. Um, so I just unscrewed that. It doesn't actually come out until the box comes out. So I just moved it to one side and then moved it to the other side. Pretty straightforward. Okay, today we are doing the light covers. I've already done one as a test piece. Um, these aren't perfect, but the sheet metal from inside the box that I cut out. So it's a piece of that that came from that box. And all I did was cut them down to just bigger than what the lights were. Um, I have 11. I'm going to be keeping these clear lenses. So I just have two on each side, two on the front, the uh, seven on the back. So all it is little piece of sheet metal with some stainless head screws self-tapping screws and then I put a shit ton of silicon around the back of it just to make sure it doesn't leak you can see thick bead of silicon the whole way around um, and then what I'll do is these these ones on the side I'll have my RV LED scene lights sticking out um, on the back I'll have some backup lights, probably like some spotlights. Um, on the front will be nothing, they'll just be blanked off. And then on the other side we'll have some scene lights as well. Um, basically what I did is cut them down to size, drilled holes in the corners. These holes don't match the original light holes. All I did was drill them kind of a half inch in on each edge. And then I just took some universal primer, white primer, and primed them. And then I took the Oxford White. You just get this from any auto store. It's about 10 bucks a can. And do a couple coats of that. And that's it, stick them on. Okay, so I've done this side, the front, and this side. So now I can go ahead and put the lights in these. Uh, I'll, I'll put a seal around the edges, like a corking seal. I can show you guys how I do that. I still have to get that front light bar off. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do there because there's just going to be a couple holes through to the cab. So I need to figure that out. I'm probably just going to put some little Sikaflex plates over them until I put the AC unit on my roof. Alright guys, so it's been a few days. I've been really busy with work, so I haven't really got much done. Um, I went to the hardware store, bought a bunch of insulation, a bunch of wood, started framing out for the wall panels. Um, you can see the old insulation there, it's one inch, I think it's like an R4 or an R5. This new stuff is an R13. So I'm putting the, cutting them out to fit the actual panels rather than having a big ass gap around them. Um, putting that in there and then putting the old thermal over the top so it almost fills the entire three inches of fill um, I might even do some thin slate just to add to it not too sure yet but yeah just wanted to do an update you can see the panels I'm cutting out I do have the wall panels inside um, if I can get the wiring stuff shipped out today then I should get the wiring done and the walls and the ceilings can go in this weekend all right this one whole side done um, I've still got to open up the door and insulate in the door. Uh, once I run the wiring down here, then I can put this wall panel on, but I'll do the ceiling first, so. Alright, who's ready to see a disaster? Fucking look at this shit. No, it's a mess. Those are all my solar panels. They showed up today. We, uh, have done a couple little projects. Mostly just been, like, odd things that I kind of just wanted to get done, like running that wiring neatly down the side instead of it just flapping around. Um, I put up some boards so we can nail the walls in once we get to that. I've run the wiring for the water pump, the 110, and uh, just a spare couple spare wires up through the ceiling, down this side to where the batteries are going to go. Um, from here I need to just run wires for the lights, finish the ceiling insulation. I have three panels left to go. If I'm able to spend the full day on it tomorrow, the goal is to get the fan and the ceiling panels and the insulation finished. 
and then Saturday we can put the ceiling in. Um, I'll try to film as much of that as I can. The fan, I did test the solar panels already on the ceiling, uh, on the roof, and it looks like they're all gonna fit with the fan the way I want it. So that's cool. Okay, goal for today. I've already cut the hole. Um, see there. Get this sunk in, uh, sealed up. Probably mount all the solar panels. Um, I want to get all the wiring finished so I can mount the ceiling tomorrow. Okay, so I spent most of the afternoon just cutting up these brackets. Just some little aluminum angle. Um, my panels didn't come with brackets, so I'm just getting those on. I'll get them on the roof. Um, maybe figure out the wiring if I have enough cable there. Otherwise, the wiring will be done tomorrow or next week. Uh, the goal for now is just to get everything up. So these are the 190 watt HQST solar panels. I have a line of three panels, max air fan, another line of three panels. I would say that's a pretty close fit. Almost as if I meant to do that. Okay, goal for today is to get the ceiling up. I need to run some couple more wires for the fan and the ceiling lights and then we're good to start putting it up so I'll, I'll do a time lapse of the ceiling um, I'll just run these couple wires and we'll get going okay just a bit of an update I started on the ceiling it is definitely tough not because of the wood but because of just how the way it screws in and the little angles that you can kind of see it kind of bows a little bit because it's not a dead flat surface um, it's not too hard it just you push too hard it breaks a piece of wood or you don't push enough and it just takes forever to get in so it's just tedious we'll get it okay quick little outro um, as you can see I got the ceiling done the lights are in the fans in I had to get my girlfriend down here because it was just too hard to get the tongue and groove to line up on my own. Uh, not because of the wood or anything, just because of the little dents and the angles on the roof. Um, it's not dead flat. Uh, so it would just require two people just to get the planks in. Um, I was able to get all the wiring done. The fan still needs to be final trimmed, um, but that's going to probably do it for this video. Uh, the next one will get onto the walls and probably start the framing for the cabinets and the beds and the batteries. Alright, while the time lapse is running, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that's subscribed. I don't know how in-depth these videos are going to get. I do plan on trying to film as much as I can, but I can't guarantee that I'm going to get all the footage. Um, I did have to take a couple weeks off. I got sick and I had to wait for my new computer to show up. So I do apologize for the delay in the videos, but I do have this one and then I immediately will be posting up another one probably in the next couple days. Um, as I have done quite a little, quite a bit of work and I just want to get these videos out there for you guys to see. Uh, if there's anything you want to see, just let me know. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I'm obviously brand new to this. So. Thanks for watching.